Good morning, everybody. What is going on? Okay, so we overslept and we missed church today, and so I'm going to have me some breakfast. I have my coffee, and um, little Miss Symphony's over here. Hi, baby. Hi. Oh, hi. Can you say hi to the ladies? Say hi. Hi. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so, I, this morning, first of all, like I said, I overslept, and, um, we did not make, oh, bless you, we didn't make it to the service, and I've been trying to really keep Symphony warm. You already ate your milk. And, um, I received a text message this morning. And, y'all, this message really just blessed the mess out of me. Um, it came out of nowhere. And I was just too, like, wow. Um, Kaylee had sent me, she texted me this morning and said, Hey, girl, it's Kaylee Cher from 40 Weeks to Go Group. And I sent you a package via Amazon. It said it was delivered today. Please let me know. And I'm just getting out of the bed. I'm like, a package on a Sunday? And I heard Solo barking downstairs. So I told her, um, um, I asked her, was it, a, was it the power of a prayer, um, praying wife? Because, you know, somebody has sent me that book, but they didn't put who, the, who it was from. And um, she said, no, it was some, some other things. And so I just want to say thank you because I went downstairs, I opened the door, and there was a... Uh, nice box from Amazon and yes she sent me this book you'll get through it by Mac Lucido New York best seller selling author and so I'm really looking forward to that um, and I'll be reading this to kind of give me some strength and she also sent me this Amazon delivers on Sundays. Well, UPS or whatever it is. But yes, look what you got. You got some pampers. Yes, from the honest company. Wow. You got to say thank you. So thank you so much. And God bless you. I really appreciate that. Um, you didn't have to do it, but you did. And I really appreciate it. I'm just like, whoa. Here, you see your pampers? They're honest ones, and they're bumblebee prints. I actually seen these online, but I never, you know, I wanted to, but I never got around to it. So thank you so much. Look at what you got, some pampers. Um, Iowa, Iowa has sent her a box, of, a huge box of pampers not too long ago. And I'm telling you, this is a blessing. And you also gave me some good pointers about where to go, what to do, and I believe you're a doula. So I just want to say thank you so much. Say thank you. Say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're going to be messing with your diapers. You're going to be putting on diapers. Yes. Yes. These are your diapers. Use your diapers. So thank you again. I really appreciate that. You just called me out the blue. I mean, text me out the blue, and I was like a package on a Sunday. And I stayed up so late last night until the, the wee bits of the morning that uh, we missed church. And I'm, like, not happy about that. But I did have some, um, uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Didn't you have your milk? Didn't you have your fillings? Yeah, so, um, we, we missed, um, we, we missed out on, um, church this morning so I will be uh, wait a minute wait a minute so um, you know usually throughout the day what I try to do is um, well today's Sunday so wait a minute wait a minute you like to get that wait a minute you better hurry up girl
I'm so glad she's feeling good today because um, I really thought yesterday with her little coughing and stuff, I said, no, we, we can't catch no cold. That's another thing, y'all. Um, also, I woke up with a, I'm not going to say with a heavy heart, but I had a dream last night. And the dream was is that I think we were in some room and I didn't see Matt and he had came and got some of his clothes and some of his guitars and stuff and I just didn't see him at all. I don't know if that meant anything because recently he came over with his parents while we were dealing with her dedication and he picked up some of his clothes and his um, guitar and stuff like that. And I haven't heard from him. So I don't know if the dream is reverting back to what he has done or what is going to happen. But I was just like, dang, I woke up and I was like, wow. I also remember everything in the living room that was on the walls was no more. It wasn't on the walls. So I'm praying like, Jesus, please. I just want him to have a, a right mind. And I miss my husband, y'all. This is just like the twilight zone to me. And it's getting cold out here. And like I said, um, it's getting cold out here. And so I don't know what's going to go down and how it's going to go down and what God is going to do. So um, I'm still going to tell y'all part, what part five I'm on. Um, anyway, I'm going to have to send them to, um, I'm going to have to tell y'all the part five of everything else. I still just cannot believe that, um, I know people that deal with bipolar that they can snap at any time or whatever and go into a hole, whatever. But sometimes I don't want to believe that. Sometimes I want to get mad and upset with him. Like, how could you leave me and leave your daughter and abandon ship the way you did. How can you up and just roll knowing that we have all of this stuff going on. We had a really good thing going on and you just dropped everything and just said deuces. And then sometimes I felt like why why couldn't I have it all? Like all three. Why couldn't I have a husband that loves me a beautiful baby, a family, and a wonderful place to stay. It's like the enemy just, you know, he has to do something. And I, like I told y'all before, uh, me and one of my good girlfriends one time, we was on the phone and we read the whole thing um, of Job and how the devil can only, he had to be allowed to test Job. And even God said, have you tried my servant Job? And I would be like, Lord, please don't send him my way. And evidently, he must have came my way to try me and see what I was going to be doing. I don't know what everything looks like after this. The only thing I can do is just trust on God, y'all, and lean not on, lean not to my own understanding. I I I understand that. Lean not to my own understanding. Um, it's just that so far. I just don't know. I just don't know. One thing, too, about my husband, he won't look me in my face. Um, when he sent me that email talking about, I want a divorce. And I said, in the email, I said, let me speak to my husband. Then the email stopped. And then I told him, if that's what you want, I said, say it in, call me on the phone and say it in my ear. Matter of fact, say it in my face. I want you. I want you. I want you to say it. In my ear or say it in my face. He he won't he won't do it. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's what's going on, y'all. It's so strange. Like I said, we've never been away this long before. We've never been separated this long before. So I'm in a hole, whatever, and I feel like eventually he'll come back down off of this manic state. But I feel like my in-laws are trying to get rid of me before he comes down off of it. That's that's what I feel personally. Because anyone else in their right mind would would speak or try to get the get the problem, the issue resolved. But instead it's like they're trying to get rid of me and I just think that's just so wrong. Um if y'all just tuning in, um if you're just looking in and don't know what's going on, I said um 
if you're just tuning in, I said I'm I'm basically if I'm going to be asking for help because I I decided to do a GoFundMe account. I don't know if I I don't know what would be made out of it. A lot of you women suggested for me to do that. I'm praying that God is going to allow this this entire household um and give me um and guide me how to go into something with uh, me, Symphony, Solo, my cats, and y'all can't wait when the Lord just prepares a table before my enemies. Because this is so wrong. You laughing. This is wrong. This isn't right. <laughs> She's smiling. Say, I got, uh-oh, uh-oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, she's smiling like, Mommy, I don't know what you're talking about. This milk is good. Say, this is the day that the Lord has made. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. So, um, yeah, I just feel like that. This is just so wrong. And then, you know, like I said, you know, I decided to go ahead and turn the heat up a notch. I'm in a house that has working heat. And I just feel like, you know, it, that's not fair to... Symphony that she got to be bundled up in a whole bunch of clothes and wearing hats and stuff while her dad is on the other side in La La World and his mama feeding him breakfast, lunch, and dinner and he he comfortable and we trying, we over here worrying about what's going to happen and like I said, it's not like my husband has ever walked out and you know, I just can't wait to hear those words, hey babe you know or, you know, I just can't, you know, I just really feel like when he comes to, he'll see what's going on. But it's like, I can't explain it, y'all. It's like he reverted back into a 16-year-old. Dad, Mom, like, he's not like, what is this? When did we start calling your dad and stuff? And it's like them, what they're doing is they're just trying to take his life and put it underneath a rug. And I'm like, I'm his wife. Tell him to come back home. It's like they don't want him to come back home. And when he when he came back home that, that other night, he really showed his tail off. So um, I'm going to go back into to that um, and let y'all know about that or whatever like that. Um, about everything else that really went down. So anyway... Um, I had told y'all with some of the little bit of money I had, you know, you know how we know how to kind of stretch a dollar by not trying to touch a dollar. So I had to, you know, go ahead and um, pay some bills because when my husband left, I told you everything happened so quick that he shut down the joint account, wiped out the joint account, shut down the joint account, and then opened a new account and said at the last minute, no, I'm not putting your name on account, this is for the ministry. What ministry? I don't know. And then after all of that, like I was telling you, he sends me an email talking about, um, yeah, um, I'm going to pay all of the bills up until October and we can review things from there. I honestly think now, looking back at everything, that my father-in-law was the one who orchestrated that email. I really do. And, I, and you know what? I hope he's looking at it because I know it was you who orchestrated that email. Because that's just not whatever. So, anywho, um, y'all know what, what was really hurtful about the whole thing. And like I said, I called the gas. And I went off crying on the phone. I told you about all of that. But what really hurt the most was to see my bank account working with a little hundred here and there. And to see my husband's bank account working with like fourteen, fifteen hundred dollars $1,500 in there. And our money and I can't even get to it because it's in his name. So I'm just like this is just so unfair. It's so unfair. I don't know if my husband has influences or who he's with or whatever, but it's just like you you got to be kidding me. Anyway, um Let me upload this video, and I'm going to come back and let you guys know about the part five or whatever like that. Um, is it part five? And I'm going to continue on telling y'all the remainder of why I believe the emails are coming from my father-in-law.